<laughs> What's that you say? You need first aid? No problem. Check it out. Bam. I am a certified first aid dude. Well, I mean, I had first aid a while ago, but uh, it expired. I needed it again to qualify for uh, working at another place. And uh, so I got that done. So I've been pretty busy. That kind of thing takes a couple days, depending on the level. The last one I took took two weeks, uh, which uh, is a long time. But a couple days isn't much, so that's all done. And of course, there are a lot of things to do when you're trying to catch up after being gone for half a day. Um, and anybody who runs a horse business or works with horses would know that. Let alone, I suppose, anybody in their normal life. Anywho. So yeah, I am a first aid dude. Uh, I've got lots of things to do. So I will get back to you guys in a little bit. <laughs> okay, never minding the two ninko poops in the back. I want you to watch these two guys. Oh, I ruined it. Hi. These two are a great example of doing the least amount of work to get what they want. Let's see if we can catch it. I'm going to just back up here and Let's see if we can see there. <laughs> it doesn't help that those two guys at the back are just going kind of crazy. Here they come. Anyways, I, what, I wanted to talk about just a very slight horse behavior that we can sort of bring into our own horsemanship when working with horses and I've sort of messed it up but the the idea is to do as little as you can to get as much as you can and these guys were perfect they're not they're not huge movers like the, the two in the back you know those guys are pretty busy <laughs> but these two um, they're really subtle very subtle movements Anyways, you saw just for a second there how one of them moved his butt towards the other guy and he moved and it's all just little things. Um, and now he's gone, he's decided to leave. Uh, way down there. No. He's just hanging out up here. And those two guys are going crazy. Okay, let's let's I'm gonna try to get this again. Okay, I don't know if you can catch all that uh, in regards to subtle and obvious communication. Um, so it's kind of hard to explain but each one. So I don't know, rewind it, check it out. The idea is that, uh, that for our own horsemanship, we really want to do the least amount of possible. Otherwise you get too much action, too much going on, too much movement and you really just want to get a little bit maybe to get that sometimes you just need to do a little like this here maybe I can get Luke's attention although I guess bear's gonna mess it up a little so I'll see if I can sort of center myself on Luke and I'm just gonna ask him to back up back up Okay. 
It's just a little bit. I don't need a rope, don't need a whip, don't need a stick. Yell and scream or jump up and down or nothing like that. Um, and the horses do it a lot too, so observing horse behavior can be hugely beneficial to your own horse fishing. Anyhow, I think they're going to end that there. I've got <laughs> some very sandy horses. Very playful. The weather's great. It's actually just warm. It's nice. So we're going to end that there. Uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's tidbits of information about horses and well, at least what I think. See you guys again soon.